What's going on, boys? Today, we got a Madden 23 defensive banger. The most overpowered defense in Madden 23, hands down. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Comment anything down below that you need help with Madden 23. Let's get into today's breakdown. My whole LB, boom, come out here, look for work, and we should have either the cornerback or we should have a disengage. All right, so the two defenses today that are super overpowered that we're going to be going through is the nickel 3 3 wheel and then the two. Four double mug. Okay, I am in the Bills defensive playbook. The full breakdown with everything you need to know on certain formations that you are facing will be updated in the ebook plus my new offense. So, two key important things to run the most overpowered defense in Madden 23 is to know where you will get your bump and run from. Okay, so as you can see right now, the arrow is pointed to somebody with a free release and also the tight end gets a free release. So both of the inside receivers get free releases. Those are the ones that can hit you with the hitches and the outside corner routes. Okay, so as you can see, he is doing the corner routes. So you would like to manually bring everybody down into the box and then you would like to shade outside. Give them guys about one step leverage to the outside. As you can see, bump and run is going to be on the outside cornerback and on the outside cornerback on the left side if you are playing bump and run coverage. Okay, so all you have to do is hover across the middle. You're watching for the running back to leak out. You're looking for any crossing or underneath routes. That's going to help your defense out tremendously. The reason why I like this double mug defense and why it is super overpowered in Madden 23 is because when you are facing somebody that's going to run, 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 and then they are going to do that backside RPO. They won't have the time to make that adjustment to either fake the handoff or throw the ball. Somebody's going to come in there breathing on your neck, and nobody likes hot Cheeto breath on their neck. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You feel me? So what I like to do is I like to pinch the entire team, and I will walk my guys down manually. I won't let them play 10 yards off, 5 yards off, even if I am shading over the top, I'm going to give it that bump and run look because that's going to help my opponent make different route combinations, block extra people, even if I do a free release. So that's the key and the IQ behind running the best overpowered defense in Madden 23. This is an aggressive defense. This is a sweaty defense. If you want to have an aggressive and sweaty defense and just lock your opponent down, you want to be running both of these defenses. As you can see, we have locked down coverage on the outside i bring my guys in and one step to the outside right there i could have moved that other guy to the outside one step but it's okay because we get a user lurk playing under the first routes that break open either the running back or the tight end use both of these overpowered defenses today and watch your wins go up 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 if y'all rocking with me you know i got y'all if you got the ebook stay tuned because it's fire coming